The Israeli military said on Wednesday it destroyed a tunnel network it claimed was used by Hezbollah militants in the area of Mabibib, a town in southern Lebanon. The troops located and conducted targeted raids on a large network of underground infrastructure and tunnel shafts that included living quarters and armories, and found a large quantity of weaponry, the army said in a statement. Early Wednesday, Israel struck Beirut's southern suburbs for the first time in nearly a week. Late Tuesday, Israeli strikes killed at least 15 people in the southern Lebanese town of Kana, which has long been associated with civilian deaths after Israeli strikes during previous conflicts with Hezbollah. Hezbollah has a strong presence in southern Beirut, known as the Dahia, which is also a residential and commercial area home to large numbers of civilians and people unaffiliated with the militant group. Israeli Chief of Staff Lt. Gen. Herzi Halavai said on Tuesday that his country will once again know how to reach Iran if Tehran were to launch another missile barrage at Israel. If Iran makes the mistake of launching another missile barrage at Israel, we will once again know how to reach Iran with capabilities that we did not even use this time, he said. Halavai made the remarks while visiting the squadrons that took part in the strike on Iran at the Ramon Air Base. Israel attacked military targets in Iran with pre-dawn airstrikes on Saturday in retaliation for the barrage of ballistic missiles the Islamic Republic fired on Israel earlier this month. It was the first time Israel's military has openly attacked Iran. The Israeli military said its aircraft targeted facilities that Iran used to make the missiles fired at Israel as well as surface-to-air missile sites. How Iran chooses to respond to the unusually public Israeli airstrikes could determine whether the region spirals further toward all-out war or holds steady at an already devastating and destabilizing level of violence. In the coldly calculating realm of Middle East geopolitics, a strike of the kind that Israel delivered before dawn Saturday would typically be met with a forceful response. Doing so would allow Iran's clerical leadership to show strength not only its own citizens but also to Hamas in Gaza and Lebanon's Hezbollah, the militant groups battling Israel. Analysts say Tehran may opt to hold back for now. If Iran does the mistake and will be able to get another time to the Israelis, we will be able to get another time to get to Iran, להגיע אפילו עם יכולות שלא השתמשנו בהן בפעם הזו ולפגוע מאוד מאוד קשה גם ביכולות וגם במקומות שהפעם עוד השארנו בצד. עשינו את זה מסיבה מאוד פשוטה שיכול להיות שאנחנו נידרש לזה עוד פעם. לא סיימנו את האירוע הזה, אנחנו ממש במהלכו. ואנחנו עכשיו מסתכלים קדימה, מסתכלים קדימה ואומרים דבר מאוד פשוט, אני אומר את זה לכם, אנחנו במוכנות מאוד גבוהה בכל הגזרות, נלחמים בלבנון, נלחמים בעזה, נלחמים בטרור ביהודה ושומרון ובעוד זירות רחוקות. Israel's attack on Iran likely damaged a base run by the paramilitary Revolutionary Guard that builds ballistic missiles and launches rockets as part of its own space program, satellite images analyzed by the Associated Press on Tuesday showed. The damage at the base in Sharoud raises new questions about Israel's attack early Saturday, particularly as it took place in an area previously unacknowledged by Tehran and involved the Guard, a powerful force within Iran's theocracy that so far has remained silent about any possible damage it suffered from the assault. Iran only has identified Israeli attacks as taking place in Ilam, Khuzestan and Tehran provinces, not in rural Semnan province where the base is located. 
It also potentially further restrains the Guard's ability to manufacture the solid-fuel ballistic missiles it needs to stockpile as a deterrent against Israel. Tehran long has relied on that arsenal as it cannot purchase the advanced Western weapons that Israel and Tehran's Gulf Arab neighbors have armed themselves with over the years, particularly from the United States. Satellite photos earlier analyzed by the AP of two military bases near Tehran also targeted by Israel show that sites there that Iran uses in its ballistic missile manufacturing have been destroyed, further squeezing its program. Iran's mission to the United Nations did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The Israeli military declined to answer questions from the AP, but sent a previous statement acknowledging it targeted missile manufacturing facilities in the attack. The strike at Sharoud, coupled with others across the country, likely have put more pressure on Iran's theocracy, particularly as it assesses the damage to its main weapon arsenal and tries to downplay the attack.